interesting. Um, there's been a lot of, uh, from what folks have said in Fort Bend County behind the Barker Reservoir, a lot of confusion about an evacuation order that went out, a mandatory evacuation order that went out early this morning in neighborhoods uh, behind the Barker Reservoir. I'm joined by uh, Fort Bend County Judge Robert Hebert to talk a little bit um, first about what happened this morning. You all sent out an email, excuse me, a Twitter around one o'clock um, saying that the voluntary evacuation was now mandatory. What, first of all, prompted you to do that? Uh, we went from voluntary to mandatory because concerns voiced to our office by our sheriff about uh, the concerned folks entering the high water levels but in the area that of, ma of a voluntary evacuation in a dangerous way and they had no police powers to control that area so the voluntary evacuation order was converted to mandatory but respectfully sir and your office has received a fair amount of criticism on, on social media Here, here's why at 109 a.m okay on, t on twitter you sent out a tweet that I says i have to take your word for it imminent flooding expected so it's not whether law enforcement can get in you're telling residents imminent flooding is expected the harris county flood control district your honor says no new flooding is expected from the barker reservoir so what happened was there a communication breakdown well there was a, let's say there was the fog of war okay uh, i didn't approve that release i didn't even know that release was done it was done through our public information activities which are located out behind us in a trailer uh, they were trying to get push information out to the people they obviously used the wrong terminology so that also was sent out to neighborhoods in this area those neighborhoods were dry so people are getting notice and now they're talking to each other at two in the morning while they're asleep saying imminent flooding is expected in their area a few people have said they got door knocks from sheriff's deputies saying you need to go well your counterparts in harris county are saying no new flooding from barker well one of the things that was done when we released it and converted this to imminent we made that we made a public announcement on several radio stations and we released information that said don't evacuate tonight stay in your home if you don't have water present now so and one part of our emergency management operation was talking about imminent flooding while my command office was sending out notifications that said it's now mandatory but please do not attempt to evacuate tonight and check in the morning because there may be changes to the area okay respectfully judge and there's a lot of moving parts and you call it the oh, there are tens of thousands of moving parts but the left hand of fort bend county is saying imminent flooding the right hand of Fort Bend County is saying, well, stay for the night, but yet it's a mandatory evacuation. Do you understand the, the confusion that, well, that if I'm a homeowner in that area, that I would the, be The information out? that it was a mandatory evacuation, but to remain in place overnight came from me. Okay. Okay, there's no right or left hand. I'm the county judge, and I was telling people as best I could you're in a mandatory evacuation area, but stay in place. It's dangerous to try and leave at night. And the tweet about imminent flooding I never was saw incorrect. That. I never saw that. It well, was it incorrect. exists, I promise. Oh, I know it does, and I can see where it caused concern, but I didn't know it was out there. But that's the Office of Emergency Management, which is under I, your watch. I take ultimate responsibility for that. Do you apologize to those homeowners who were scared out of their minds about imminent flooding coming into their homes that the threat doesn't exist or many officials say doesn't exist well to those that feel that an apology is necessary i will apologize because it i'm on watch it happened on my watch let's move forward good information is clear information that's what we're here for oh yeah we have a map this is the west park toll this is highway 99 barker is up in this area correct this is the barker Road. okay what is the blue areas i'm going to stand over here and you could point them out sir what do the blue areas represent here and now and going forward this represents the mandatory evacuation area currently in force it uses the fort bend county line it uses the boundary of the dam as it runs out to its tail end out here at the west 
That's why you have nice straight lines. This irregular line here is a, the 102 foot uh, elevation contour. And that is one foot, 12 inches above the area where water is present. It's a safety area. Now judge, you know these subdivisions better than I do, so point them out. These areas over here, are these flooded now? Or are they dry? Some of these back here are gonna be dry. They're within one foot elevation of being wet. Okay. We're going to continue looking at this throughout the day, and as, as the water comes down and we can clear and maintain a one-foot elevation safety zone, we'll further reduce this mandatory evacuation area. Now, as of 1 a.m., this map was different, and correct me if I'm wrong, Judge, but some of these neighborhoods in here were included in that mandatory Absolutely. evacuation, correct? Absolutely. Those neighborhoods were dry, correct? Those neighborhoods were dry. So if somebody who heeded this office's warning via social media on Twitter and got out because they were told to because there was imminent flooding and now they're somewhere else. Can they go back in? Sure. Okay. Sure. This area, if it's clear, it's under no evacuation order at all. So you're telling me if somebody comes to a roadblock here, a staging area with sheriff's deputies and they say, I live in one of these areas, it's not in the evacuation zone. Are they going to be able to get it? Is Fort Bend County Emergency Management talking to Fort Bend County Sheriffs and various constables to make sure that is clear? Yes, sir, we are. For these areas that are still dry, if they decide to go out, to go to the store, to get supplies, whatever, what is your message to them? They won't be allowed back in. They can shelter where they are, but they won't be allowed back in because this boundary is on the 102 and our law enforcement officers can't determine anything other than the boundary that they have to enforce. So even though they're dry right now, presently, yes, sir. they're stuck in their homes. And if they leave, they're not coming back. Yes, sir. Help us understand because the initial reaction to that is, well, we're dry. We're okay. 